space because it's two tosses. But if I ask you, you know, the set of the set of events where um, the first outcome is heads, that actually isn't the event of H1. That's not a um, that's that that's an event, but it's not a finest grain event. So if I said if it, the, if, you, if I asked you to describe the event space in terms of um, H1 and T1, that does in fact cover the entire space. It's collectively exhaustive, but what it's not is it's not a sample space because it's not um, finest grain. And you, it, I guess the point is is that the, the finest grain point is where you stop. Sometimes that's useful, sometimes that's not. Um, and it just depends on the problem. Um, so moving on from uh, the algebra of events, you know, now we've got these points in the space. The next thing is to come up with what's called a measure for it. And in fact, we want to call it the probability measure. And from these three um, measures of events in a sample space, you can actually come up with uh, uh, some notion of a measure that you assign to the space, uh, to a point in the space. Um, and as long as that, that value and all set values about, uh, with regard to the other val uh, values in that, um, that are ascribed to the points in the space, Correspond to these uh, three axioms, then you in fact have uh, a valid measure and a value in, in valid numbers for those measures. And the ones that we, you know, practically speaking, the ones that we typically use. I mean, I, I guess uh, the the three things that are important is that you know that a probability is never less than zero. Um, the probability of all the events in a space uh, is basically one, and that causes some normalization in terms of. Uh, you know, when I have conditioning events like, um, if if I told you that uh, you know, what's the probability that uh, that uh, if I flip a coin, uh, that given that it's heads, that that it turned up heads, well, the probability is one, but it's but 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 it's you know, it's not 2.5 or something like that. Um, you, and then. Uh, the last piece is that um, if two sets of events don't intersect, then the probability of the set of events that's the union of them is the sum of the two probabilities of the, each set of events. Um, and I guess that last part goes back to what I was saying before. And I guess the last part of this, this uh, the thing that I'm going to talk about today is um, something that, or actually before I do that, let me, let me talk about one more type of uh, Type of sample space. Uh, one, 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 one thing that, that you might do is, uh, uh, you know, talk in two dimensions. Like, uh, if I roll a dice twice, you know, I have, uh, um, you know, this the sample space. Uh, let's see if I if I have a. Uh, Set of events x1 comma x2, where um, x is uh, x sub n is a member of um, you know uh, is a member of one comma two comma three comma four, let's say. So it's, let's say that it's a a uh, four side or tetrahedral draw, die or something like that. If I say here's uh, here's two um, Here's two throws of that dice. One way you might describe the um, sample space is if I call this x1 and you know n is uh, the the number of the die roll um, in x2, then one way you might try to describe the sample space is to put it in two dimensions. Or if it's ten things and you do it in ten dimensions, uh, one, two, three, four, um, then these are all the valid sample points. Um, meaning that there are 16 possible outcomes, and this is a nice way to graphically demonstrate it. Now, say for example, could someone come up with uh, an interesting set of events that I could describe on this space? <laughs> I don't know. How about uh, how about the event that the uh, Second roll is even. Who could tell me how to what what the points in the space are? For that. So this one and this one. Okay. So that's I guess the point is is that this is a mechanical thing that I'm going through, but it's just trying to show you that 
what you can do in trying to solve these problems is when, when someone states a problem, they'll tell you that, well, uh, you know, there's some, there's some event, and you, what, the, the, the motion you have to go through is trying to describe the sample space and then subsequently deciding what points in the sample space are in one set versus another, another set. Um, so, 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 what, so, so, so with regard to this, an example might be, um, you know, you, you'd say that, you know, if, if, if this is a non-biased die, meaning that each side is equally likely, um, what, d does someone know what, uh, what the uh, likelihood of a particular event point is? One sixteenth. And how did you get that? Random guessing. Random guessing. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you got that because it's, right, you counted up the dots and you said what's well, non-biased and it's equally likely. So there's 16 of them and uh, that, gets you, that gets you there. Or you could say that the probability that, um, the probability, you know, x1, and we'll talk about independence, you know, tomorrow, I guess, but um, the probability of um, x1 and x2 um, I guess, let's see. For a particular, for a particular, for a particular point here. Um, so, so I guess the last thing I'm going to start to talk about today is the notion of conditional probability and give you an intuitive taste for that. So, um, here, here's an example where um, there's this notion of getting, uh, you know, having a sample space and then getting some extra information and using that to determine what points are or are not valid anymore. Um, so, for example, uh, one thing one thing that that you might say is, um, you know, what's the probability that uh, what's the probability given that uh, the second um, the, what's the probability um, given that the second roll isn't even? So we know that it's not in this space or this point space that um, the that the uh, that 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 you get. Uh, a, a one and a one. Uh, sorry, a x one and x two equals one comma one. So, what's the probability given that? Sorry, the probability of one comma one given that um, x x two x two is um, is is oh, sorry is odd, or or that it's not even. Um, and the way that you sort of do that is you say, okay, well. You know, these points aren't in that space, but these points are. So, and, and so there's only eight of them. And since each of these is equally likely, there's a one-eighth chance that they'll be, um, that, that you'll get that. You'll get that. Um, and I, and I, the other thing that I wanted to sort of talk about in terms of an intuitive understanding of this is that basically the probability that A given B, it's equal to the probability of the intersection of A and B um, Divided by the probability of B, what what's that really saying is is that the um, probability of A, let me go over here, uh, given B, is um, let's see, that is if you look over here, um, if I if I say what's what's the set of events given B, is it's this set of events, right? Um, meaning that sorry, uh, I'm sorry the the. the that B, B is this that B is this thing in, inside here. So the the probability of A given B um, is well the set of events is B, and the, the set of events um, A are over here. So that what you do is is that um, the valid set of points is here. So we're normalizing out from the intersection of A and B, which is this this piece, is being normalized out by the area of um, of B. Uh, do, do, peop do, do people get that, or is there anyone that doesn't get that? Because uh, I'd be happy to go over it, because I think it's one of the most important points about probability, is that these conditioning events, it's just actually normalizing out the fact that you got rid of those events. And um, to be honest with you, that's actually all I prepared for today's <laughs> lecture. Um, and, tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll sort of, I, I actually think this is sort of a bit to chew, chew, chew off of in the sense that um, Later today at about one, um, I'd like to go through some problems.